to sterilize or not to sterilize? That is the question that we are going to be talking about today. Well, actually not really, because for nail technicians, it is not necessary to sterilize your equipment. However, it is a ongoing trend that more salons more than ever are doing a sterilization process, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about that as well as the sterilization machine that I absolutely love. I will get into some of that details. But we've all seen these little pouches and usually what they indicate is something is being sterilized. So why would a salon wanna sterilize? People are looking for cleaner salons. We have our diabetics, we have our immune compromised. We just have a higher level of service where people really care about making sure their implements are clean. They want to make sure that all the little microbes that live on this are being killed in between every client. And the only way to kill is to actually sterilize. So let me introduce to you the NBO. What I really like about the NBO machine is that it's sleek, it's quiet, it's spacious, and it's fast. There's three different settings, seven minutes, 15 and 45. It's a one step cycle process. So even your Karens can get on board with using it and using it properly. So let me show you how to use it. One of the things that caught my eye about the MBO is it literally is the most beautiful autoclave on the market. And in the beauty industry, looks matter. So whether you use it in the front of the house where your clients can see it or in the back of the house, it is just a very sleek, beautiful looking piece and professional equipment. The big thing too is this is actually considered a medical device. It's a class B and still looks stylish and sleek without it taking up a lot of space like those really funky looking autoclaves that look like a microwave. So what is important to know about that is the autoclave cannot be pushed against the wall. So there has to be about two inches of airflow. Another thing that I absolutely love is that it has a USB. So we no longer have to actually keep track of our sterilization process of when we used it, what the temperature is. We don't have to record everything. It's right here on the USB drive. And at any point you can just stick it into your computer. And for those Karens, anytime you introduce change, it can be a little difficult, but what's really nice about this, it really is a one step process. So let me go ahead and tell you about the different settings. It's really important because we are working with metal equipment that it is corrosive, okay? So anytime that we introduce water, we are introducing the chance of rust. It introduces water and heat, right? So we're using pressure to actually kill spores to make sure there's nothing living on our equipment. So with that, using the dry cycle is extremely important. The dry cycle is for that 15 minute setting or the 45. So the more equipment that we have inside, the longer we want to set our kill time or our cycle time because we want a longer drying cycle. Let's go ahead and talk about the different cycles. The fastest cycle is going to be seven minutes. A seven minute cycle is not going to give you any drying time. So seven minutes are for tools that you are going to use right then and there and not store. So what is also a great feature in the machine, the MVO, is that I can literally take my clean tools, right? So cleaning is actually removing the microbes and putting them in. I just lock it and then I click the fast cycle. That's going to do seven minutes. However, we only use that cycle when we are going to use the tools immediately after. This is not for storage, okay? There's no dry cycle. With my 15 minute cycle, I am going to actually get dry time. So this is when we start using these little steam bags and we load them up and we put them inside our autoclave. All right, so depending on how many sets you've put inside your machine will vary if you're gonna use the 15 minute setting or the 45 minute setting. The more sets of tools you have, the longer dry cycle you want. And the reason for that is because we wanna make sure the tools are dried so they don't rust, okay? So let's talk a little more about that. If you have enough sets to get you to lunch, I recommend doing the 15 minute cycle. You're taking a 30 minute lunch break. You better be taking the 30 minute lunch break. You're taking that 30 minute lunch break and your disinfecting is taking 15 minutes. Then you open up your tools and you're ready for the second half of your day. Now, if you have enough sets to get you through the whole day or you're in a large salon setting is that you could have about eight sets. It really goes by weight. So depending on if you're using implements or just bits, 
it's also going to vary. How much can we fill up the MBO? Well, that's really gonna be contingent on what we're putting inside. If we're putting on like nippers and we're putting in implements versus bit or doing some kind of ratio, the best indicator is to really notice after that 45 minute cycle, are your tools still wet? There is not just a dry cycle. So when we're taking out our implements, remember, they're gonna be really, really hot, so don't burn yourself. Use tongs, but also notice, are they wet? If they are wet, then I would recommend just putting less equipment inside your autoclave, okay? Let me go ahead and show you guys how we're going to load our bags for sterilization, okay? You can get bags in different sizes. So for bits, I recommend the smaller bags, whereas your implements are gonna be used in a larger bag. One of the key things to remember is when they are getting sterilized is we wanna try to make sure the metal inside the bag is not touching. Anytime metal is touching each other, it's creating this oxidation. We don't want oxidation because when we have oxidation, we have rust. So put fewer, implements inside of bag and make sure that the bag is only three fourths full. Here is an example of an improperly filled bag. And here is an example of the correct way to fill a bag. You notice how the tools aren't touching each other and that there is enough space in between each tool. All right, now that we have successfully loaded our bags, there's also a certain way in which that we need to put multiple bags inside, inside the sterilizer. So here's an example of a large bag. Here's an example of a small bag. Small tools, small bag. Large tool, large bag. You got it, okay. So I have quite a few packages that I wanna sterilize. So it's important of how we load our machine. We have to make sure wherever we start, so I started with the foil down and the paper on top. That means my next tool needs to have the paper. Touch the paper. Have an overlap at about an inch and then foil to foil. Then paper to paper. See where I'm going with this? And then foil to foil, where you have about an inch overlap on each side. And then I have my little ones and I'll just put right there, paper to paper. Just like that, I go ahead and I close it up. I lock her. And this is when I select how long I'm gonna run for. So this had quite a few tools in it. So I'm just gonna start off and do my 45 minute cycle. I click the cycle in which I wanna use and then I press start. Right now what's happening is it is heating up. This is the first time I've used it this morning, but actually the cycles get quicker the more that you've used it throughout the day because the system is already warm. So the machine is warming up. What I love about this is it's super airproof. And what I mean by that, as long as you're putting in clean tools, which is the most important step, is that your machine is going to tell you if there's any mistakes, if the HEPA filter needs to be changed, if the USB drive is not in, if something gasket wise is not registering correctly, an error code is going to tell you. It's even gonna tell you when you need to change your HEPA filter, which is really important because this is a medical grade sterilizer. So there's gonna be a lot more airborne particles in a nail salon. We may have to change the HEPA filter sooner than later and your machine is going to tell you. Yes, it is that smart. While my tools are being sterilized, let me go ahead and show you some of the setup. One of the most important things is we have to use distilled water. And the reason for that is we don't want carbon to build up on our equipment. So it's very affordable. What you're gonna get with your MBO machine is you're gonna get these little tubes, okay? What's really important is literally, I just bought these jugs at the grocery store, but they come with these little plugs and we wanna make sure whatever jug size you use, if you're in a very high volume salon, then of course you're gonna maybe wanna use larger jugs. It only uses two shot glasses worth of water per cycle. So, and your machine's also gonna tell you when it's running low on water. However, we wanna make sure whatever device you're using is that it's sealed up because we don't want to get any particles inside the water, right? The whole point is to sterilize. So to make sure it is fully capped is very important. Okay. There's also some other important features with the hoses as well. So you want to make sure anytime you're cleaning, you're disinfecting. And of course, if you're sterilizing that you read that manual. One of the big parts with the MBO machine, since it is that three vacuum chamber system is that our cord here, we don't want to have the red part actually in the solution because it can like pull back the water into the machine, okay? So the hose has to be on the top. Whereas with the water, we actually wanna have the hose all the way fully submerged. That way it's sucking up the water and exiting it through the red. 
So there's little things like that. Make sure you read it. Also, your HEPA filter looks a little different than maybe what you would expect. It's just this little guy right here. It needs to be replaced every thousand cycles. Your machine's going to tell you that. It's also gonna come up in yellow when it's running low. Like I said, because we're in the nail industry, there's a lot of airborne particles. This is a consumable product. And it just screws right onto the back. So we're all finished now. Let's take a look. Let's unlock. Oh, remember it's hot, so use tongs. All right, so here I can see that my steaming was successful. Also, my machine has told me that as well. It went in looking like this and has turned depending on what kind of pouches you're using. This is like a darker greenish brown, okay? So let me recap what I love about the MBO machine is that not only is it sexy, it's medical grade, it's slim, it's very quiet, it's very efficient, and it's very user friendly. So in a salon, there's a lot of people working with it. It is very difficult to mess it up. The machine is going to tell you if there is an air. Now, let's lean into this. I said earlier, do we disinfect? Do we sterilize? We have to at least disinfect. If you're gonna do sterilization, you don't have to. You go straight to cleaning into sterilization, but that number one most important thing is to clean the microbes off. Whatever process you do, disinfection or sterilizing, just make sure that you do it properly. That way our clients can feel safe and that we know we are doing our best to keep everyone healthy and happy. Okay, but if you're looking into sterilization, without a doubt, I have looked at tons of machines and the MBO was the way I decided to go. So if you're looking for a sterilization machine, hands down, five stars for the MBO machine. She's definitely going to post up in my workshop. You need one of these if you're looking to level up and to sterilize your equipment. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it.